What is up, YouTube? This is FNHA with a brand new video to talk about my May 2019 earnings. Yes, today is June 1st, and we are going to—I am going to be showing you my May earnings. So let's get right into it. So um, as you can see, I don't hold back. If you want to leave now, you can. <laughs> but I have earned $565 in the month of May. Uh, you can see I haven't filtered for May. The update, the ratings, um, sorry, the earnings updated latestly. So you can clearly see, obviously, a huge downside from last month's um, earnings that I had. You can clearly see. Uh, but this is my normal-ish range, five to six hundred. My goal is still to significantly increase this every month. It's hard to see where it's falling. I don't know if May, June is going to be June is going to be down more, or if it'll be stable around this point where it can start increasing it. But at this point, it's five sixty-five, and I'm going to just like walk through how many was. So I had one hundred thirty-four k monetized playbacks. My CPM is good, seven dollars and fifty-nine cents. There's a lot of people that have been telling me their CPM was kind of trash. You can see my CPM actually bumped up, but that could be because of less views and more targeted views I guess so it could have been like certain videos did good or certain de demographic videos did better because the last month was like all over the world doing significantly good whereas over here not as much um, I guess it's mostly the US and I'm gonna dive into it to show you everything that's been occurring uh, revenue sources as you can see it's YouTube premium revenues 381 I didn't do any live stream so I didn't get any super chat money I might start doing that in the future when I have like five plus K subs like a lot more live uh, live streams and whatnot and regular ad revenue, as you can see, 561. Um, ad types, the usual, it's always skippable, then bumper ads, then skippable video ads, uh, display ads, and the non-skippable video ads. Top five videos, you can see how to get Tutu app light, three uh, ways Postmates, PewDiePie, how to get Tutu app, and how to install Swift Streams. So these are pretty good, actually. Um, and I feel like this is a good pace. I'm averaging around like 16, 17, 18-ish maybe dollars around that ballpark. I want to hit 20, 25 dollars. And my goal for year end is to like hit significantly more like $50 but let's see if I can actually achieve that or not um, so let's go let's go let's oh crap that was not what I was trying to do I hate it when that does that like I'm trying to hit see more okay let's get right into the thing where we can just discuss more again if you want to like leave now you can <laughs> but I would urge you to say if you'd like to uh, it, I just go a little bit more in depth on how the video did how certain videos did what are the views they got the click-through rate all that other good stuff um, so here we go. We can see this is just the overall video. You can see how those top five videos I discussed, the mo estimated monetized playbacks, the CPM. So you can see 2 app light did not have a good CPM rate, but it did have a crap ton of views, hence why I got a good chunk of cash or majority of my cash from that video. Uh, but you can see my Postmates one, it's, and again, look at this, this is insanely nice. I had significantly less views, 4,000 views, like around 4,000 views, and I my CPM is $31. That's insanely good. You can see it's only 1% of my views, and I'm getting more in this. And again, people don't understand this on YouTube, and I might make a video separate to this on how to like let them know what this means. But basically, everyone is different. The niche you're in, the types of video you're making, the types of content you're making, the stuff you're saying. That's why I try to keep it as family friendly as possible, just like PewDiePie. Because the type of stuff you say, the type of words you say, because YouTube even transcripts the words you say to make an ad similar to that pop up. So if you say a lot of finance stuff and money making stuff and all that other stuff, you'll get those ads. So in my Postman video, I pr a lot of people told me in the comments, they're like, yo, Grubhub ad came up, Uber Eats ad came up, and these companies paid a lot more money, obviously, because they're trying to un cut the competition. They're trying to like ruin Postmates in that sense, which again, smart business move to like target a Postmate with video with their ad so the viewer can actually go to them instead of Postmates. And I'm like, that's smart. That's how it should be. Well, but again, that's a business thing we can discuss later. PewDiePie one, you can see 13 bucks. Uh, but again, you can see some are insanely nice. The follow liker one, I don't know why. I guess this is a program related. I'm not even sure. I guess it's tech, so probably a lot of tech ads came up on this. Um, but yeah, mostly my CPM is like around the $7 ballpark, like the average. Uh, some are very low, some are very high. It all depends on the videos. Uh, this one is, again, follow liker. Uh, uh, the Canon Vixio one, I can see a lot of cameras being promoted here, so hence why that could be expensive ads. Uh, Postmates again, uh, fairly high. The CPM, Amazon. I can un again, I can understand it's Amazon. I can see a lot of AMS ads coming up on that side. Uh, this is extremely low, so I won't trust it as much. But this, I only got 554. But you can see, I got 81 CPM on that. Uh, I remember this video. It was 
it's, it's doing pretty decent. I got it's extremely low on the views. It's like not even a percent. <laughs> you can literally like not even a point percent. But yeah, anyways, that's just from there. Traffic sources, just to like show you, majority of my views are always YouTube search. I want to bump up suggested videos from 5% to 20. I'm trying my best. I can't do it personally. This is just a YouTube thing. But the goal is to obviously bump this up to 20%. So once you're done watching a video on like, let's say, I don't want to say PewDiePie, but let's say Stephen Graham, and you watch the real estate video of his, then boom, you see a recommendation of mine, you go there. Or like someone else, like maybe Nick or Brian G. Johnson's YouTube tutorials, and you see mine on the side, boom, you go there. That helps get a lot of views. And um, I right now, I'm heavily search focused, so it's fine, I guess. Um, just to show you, these were the thing. I did do some YouTube advertising. I was playing around with that. Uh, it works. I did make a video on how to do YouTube ads before, but I'll, I'll make another one on like test drives. Like I tested this video out. Look how it did versus this video. I might do that. Um, here's the geography. Again, this is the reason why my CPM went up. Majority was the US, whereas last month it was but I had a lot of Australia, a lot of Canada, uh, I believe a, a few European countries. It, it was significantly higher because of that. Um, my India is always usually on the top as well, but I don't get paid as much for the Indian ones, whereas I get for obviously the Western countries. I wonder if I can, s yeah, I don't know why. Yeah, let me put that, I, I don't know why that was not, that should be there. Um, so here, you can clearly see, uh, US, good old USA, always the most, $378. Uh, you can see my next biggest one, UK, then Canada. I don't think it's in, let me put it in order. Uh, then Australia, Germany. And again, even though my most views or watch times per se was also with the next one being, the biggest one being India. Horrible revenue rate because the CPM sucks. Uh, let's see if I can add CPM here to show you guys. Here is the CPM. See, the US is always really good. India is always around a dollar to two dollars. Mine's always around a dollar seventy-five. I would love India to go up, obviously, so I can get a lot more. Because if you compared it to this, let's just say as an example, to the closest one, to the UK, I could have made 30 bucks, maybe more. I could have made 35 bucks from this one. So, yeah, that would have been amazing if I could obviously do that. Uh, then there's the usual viewer age. I don't think these pop up. Then there's revenues. I don't know why this one's not coming up. Uh, it's just, like, glitched out. Is it all of them, or is it just... Oh. I feel like, oh, because they, I guess because it was revenue, I thought revenue source would come up. Not sure why revenue source is not coming up. It's fine. Uh, but yeah, you can obviously see from there, that's basically how it ended up going, and that's essentially it. Um, let's see, it's, I thought I could. Maybe, oh, it's coming up now. It's being weird. Oh, where can I see? Oh yeah, well, m most of my, again, most of my views are from not subscribed versus subscribed, so I always said that guy, that matters, guys. Uh, subscription source you can see from the watch page and I think that's about it that's usually it so yeah this was the video guys this was my um, May earnings overall I hope you found this helpful and informative if you did definitely give this a thumbs up uh, it helps a lot if you're new to the channel make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell other than that FNHL peace